Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another palettes we all forgot about video and it's gonna be on the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. This is so like, like such a classic Too Faced palette. Like I feel like any Too Faced fan really had these. <laughs> I'm kind of cold, so excuse me. I d I've done two other videos. I've done it on the Too Faced Original Chocolate Bar. I've done it on the Semi Sweet. Like I really, like look at these. They're so cute. I just filmed the swatches and everything, and they are just so, this is so cute. But I have done, also on the chocolate gold palette, that has like 90% of it is um, metallic shadows, but it has some really nice basic staple neutral shades in it. So I will link all those videos down below. But this whole series is all about palettes that used to be in the spotlight, super hyped up, and now they're kind of overshadowed by newer releases. So I have a whole playlist. I'll link that down below for you. I've done tons of Too Faced palettes, um, Tarte, Urban Decay, Anastasia, you name it, I've probably done it. So I really like showcasing uh, products that we have in our collections already, probably. And if you don't have this um, in your collection and you still want to recreate the tutorial, do it with your own products. You don't have to buy exactly what I have in order to recreate it because that is definitely not the case. So without further ado, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell. We're, giving, we're doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers and I upload five days a week. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to first go through swatches just to kind of um, go over them and whatnot. Um, a lot of people said that this, I have heard about this in the past and what, but if pe um, people said that this was kind of like the one that didn't work as well for them in a way. And honestly with swatching, I thought it worked out pretty okay. Um, I'm going to go through the swatches. They're so cute. This smells like chocolate. Like it's so cute. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to just go through swatches. So the first row we have almond truffle, satin sheets. Sprinkles, Molasses Chip, and Malted. The second row we have Cashew Chew, Cotton Candy, Cafe Ole, I don't even know what that means, Bordeaux, Mocha, and Black Currant. Uh, the um, last row is Dark Truffle, Pecan Praline, Totally Fetch, Earl Grey, and Divinity. Very nice neutral palette. You do get a couple pinks in here, you know, like a nice like bluish, smoky gray toned almost, and then you get like a purpley color. But overall, it's pretty neutral. I feel like a lot of Too Faced is relatively neutral. Um, I don't really think that's all, always a like a negative thing though, you know? I like a good neutral palette, but I do have quite a lot of them. Why am I so cold today? Oh my goodness. It's like we gotta get the blanket out. Usually I like have a blanket on the back of my chair and now I'm like wrapped in my my lower half of my body in it. Okay, let's go ahead and create a beautiful look with this palette. We are gonna start out with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is a really nice primer to use. Honestly though, I always mention this, but it's always good to mention for new viewers. If you don't have this, and you don't have the money to go out and buy this, concealer um, does something is very similar to this. I remember when I bought it, um, I kind of just wanted it because of the hype, and now I'm just trying to use it up. <laughs> but I am cruelty free, or I try very hard to be cruelty free, and I'm just gonna try, I'm just working on using it up. Not gonna be something that I ultimately repurchase. So I'm gonna set this with just a little bit of the shade Divinity. It's like a matte cream shade. Usually I will set it with like a matte cream shade or just some sort of like powder. I don't really like any tackiness in my eye primer. I just hate that feeling, <laughs> to say the least. So, so clean, so cancels out, I, I love it. Okay, so, I'm actually gonna put my hair back. I finished up school and I am so happy that is done. Um, that was just, school's always kind of been like a more like stressful part of my life especially I and mean, you've been to college you know you get it but my hair looks weird now i just really stress out about school and whatnot and at this point i'm just ready to be done i just ugh i'm ready to be done but we're gonna go ahead and do this look so we are first gonna go in i really like the shade almond truffle i thought that was a very beautiful shade and 
yeah, so we're gonna go in with that. And it's nice because this has a mirror on it. So not all palettes do, but a lot of the Too Faced palettes do have <laughs> mirrors on them. I always find it kind of annoying when they don't have a mirror on them because I don't want to like put down the palette, pick up a mirror. I don't know. I'm just, I'm picky. And if I were to ever design a palette, I would probably um, put a mirror in it. I'm really liking this cotton candy shade. I was watching it and I'm like, oh my gosh, like that doesn't, it didn't really match up to what it would look like in the pan. So I'm kind of curious to use that and just kind of create something really feminine and girly. That's kind of what I think about when I look at this palette. You know, it's very light, feminine. It almost reminds me of like, like Paris, like a French inspired, inspired palette because I feel like with a lot of like Parisian, like Eiffel Tower, like art or anything like that, it's usually like light browns, pink, very girly and whatnot. And so that's kind of um, what kind of comes to mind. I am gonna highlight my brow bone right away with the Divinity shade. I find it interesting that they, that Too Faced kind of does some colors in the palette like larger than others this one is a more like pinky rose gold really light shimmery shade so that might be good for like highlighting the inner corner stuff like that this is definitely a palette that you can get a full look out of because there are some palettes out there that you would probably have a hard time getting a look out of yeah we're gonna go in with this lavish tapered blending brush and we're gonna use the shade mocha which is this one I also just like love the fact that these are like heart shaped like that like my six year old self would really appreciate that. We're putting this on the outer part of the eye. I want to see what it would look like with a little bit like lighter approach. This I got in a BoxyCharm box. There were like a couple brushes in the box in the box in the br ugh, brush set that I really liked and some that I was like, um, no, I don't like this at all. And that will be in an upcoming fails video. I'm just kind of blending that out a little bit. I like the like the very light look of it. Got fallout all over. <laughs> but we're going to go into back into almond truffle and we are going to put that on the lower lash line. If I had to pick like a favorite chocolate bar palette, I don't know. Like I was thinking about it like which one is my favorite? Like they all have their perks, but they all have their drawbacks as well. I really like Semi Sweet. I think Semi Sweet is really cute. Um, the peanut, the shade peanut butter in there is really good. I'd say maybe Semi Sweet. I don't. I know they're kind of phasing out the whole chocolate bar thing with Too Faced. I don't think like any of the chocolate bar palettes are available at like Ulta or Sephora, but I may be wrong. Maybe it's more available on the Too Faced website. Now I'm gonna go into the mocha shade right here. My allergies have been so bad these past couple weeks. Like I get, I am like so stuffy and I sneeze a lot and whatnot. No, I'm not sick. So I'm gonna put this mocha shade more towards the outer part of the lash line. But yeah, my allergies are something else lately. Spring is usually a bad time for my allergies. Spring and kind of summer but it kind of tones down for summer but spring is like you know everything is unfreezing and you're like i don't know for me i'm allergic to pollen and so it just it really takes a toll on me sometimes there we go there's that i kind of want to use a little bit of cafe Olay. i really like that shade i like kind of like this it's like a silvery like taupe shade almost i don't know i really like that and so i think i'm gonna put this on my lid it's kind of different from your average like bronzy coppery champagne shade that you would put on i mean i would personally if i were gonna do like a neutral look like this but i really like how that applies too you can really tell that um you know there is some pigment to it okay i know i said i wanted to do some pink that cotton candy shade I might still do that. I do love that cotton candy shade though. It's very pretty. Maybe I'll put that like on the center of the lid or something. But look at that. That really picked up on the brush. I kind of like the pink tint it's giving to the Cafe Olay shade. I love mixing eyeshadows like this and kind of just creating my own like custom look. 
I think that is so fun to do. Kind of gives it a little more pinky vibe. I don't, we'll, we'll do it, we'll do it. Especially when we're in quarantine, it's often fun to just switch it up a bit. There we go, it kind of gives it a more pinky, like almost like a room, I don't know, I think about like, whenever I do like pinky eyeshadow, I think it's like more romantic. I don't know why. I remember like years ago, like there, I've seen, I would see people do like a Valentine's Day or like a romantic date night inspired eye look and me being like 13 and like, yeah. I really, I don't know, that's what I first think of when I do more like pinky eyeshadow or something. I'm like, ooh, romantic date night, Valentine's Day. It's not always the case. So we're gonna go into satin sheets. This one is so pretty. We're gonna get it loaded up on the brush. And we are gonna apply this to the lower, lo ooh, I wanna get that wet. I think that is doable. So we're gonna dampen the brush. If you don't have like a good setting spray to do that with, just try it with like water or something like that. It works the same. But I feel like this color just needed a little extra like oomph. We're gonna be applying that to the inner part of the lower lash line. If you have watched me for a while, you know that this is one of my favorite techniques to do. I often will take like a little liner brush or a brow brush and then we're gonna pop this in the inner corner and I'm gonna even bring it up just a little bit in here. My eye. I love the way that looks. Going right around the tear duct here. I don't want to be like BAM in a corner but I do love some brightness in, a, in the look and you can tell like this is a little more golden than say the lid color. So you're kind of seeing that more gold inside of this shade, which I love. Okay, that is so pretty. So for um, liner and lashes, I'm gonna go with the Revolution. I'm gonna say Monsoor Big. <laughs> no, that's the mascara we're using. Um, we're gonna use the Renaissance Flick Liquid Liner from Revolution. This is like under 10 bucks if you're looking for a good Ulta find. There we go. I like the thin line, especially with this kind of look. I feel like it doesn't really need a super thick, like, winged liner. And we're not going to do any wings today. Wow, I like this. Okay, we're going to take a quick break from the eyes, and I want to put on some lip balm. My lips are just, like, kind of been, like, been really dry lately. We're going in with the briefcase. We're going to do kiwi today, because I had some kiwi with my breakfast. I'm on such a kiwi kick right now. I love it. Obviously, this is like not how like a real kiwi smells or tastes. It's still really good. Okay, for mascara, I said it before, Monsoor Big. I should open up another mascara. Huh. I love how this mascara just builds right up. Honestly, though, like being cruelty free, I can't in my right mind purchase this again. Like I just... I just can't. I would not feel right doing it. And um, great alternatives to this mascara are like Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, the ColourPop mascara is really great. Um, Tarte makes a great, a couple great mascaras. There are definitely cruelty-free options out there for everything. Like I said here, like you don't need this. I just have it because I bought it before I was cruelty-free, and I honestly just want to use it up. So. For me, like, just use concealer if you don't have it, or I don't really know if there's any good dupes out there that, like, dupe MAC paint pots. If there are, I would be really interested in knowing, so let me know if you are aware of any MAC, cruelty-free MAC paint pot dupes. To keep this look really soft and really just nice, light, feminine. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I love it. Um, but I'm going to use the Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Virgin. This is just a nice nude. I need to blot my lips. I always put on like a little too much chapstick and then I'm like, hmm, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but I always like moisturizing, especially before doing a liquid lip. Liquid lips can be so drying and Morphe is no exception to that. And this can look a little light. I have really fair skin, obviously, and so it can be a little difficult for me to find one that's not trying to blend in with your 
<laughs> with your skin tone. And I feel like at times this shade can be a little light on me. I always like to let this dry just a little bit before going back in with a gloss. I think to tie in the pink, we're gonna use the Too Faced High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar Plum. This is from the Holiday Collection, but use whatever you want. They still make this formula in their, um, in this packaging. So that is always great. All reality, it comes from the other day. Use what you have. And I see so many people talk about, oh, I'm getting rid of my holiday collection stuff because I don't want to use it. That is a good point to make. The people who do have it can't, like, see you use it. But I just think, you know, you don't need these exact products to recreate a beauty of this beautiful look. You can use what you have. And that's the beauty of YouTube. You can do whatever you want. There are no rules. Nobody is out here saying that you need to go out and purchase this because... That is just not what my channel is about. I am very thrilled with this look. Little, something a little different um, from what we would maybe normally do. Usually I do a little bit deeper look, but I really like this. All right, that is it for today's video. I am very pleased with this. I kind of came into this video, you know, most of the time I like to have some sort of idea of what I'm gonna do. And with this one, I really did it. I just kind of thought, yep, there's like a hot pink in there. <laughs> what else am I gonna do? And I really like, I don't want to say natural, because everybody has their own view of what natural means. I really like the neutralness of it. And I just like how it really just flatters your eye rather than just being like, whoa, that girl's got some eyeshadow on. It's more just like like a way to like accentuate your eyes. And I love that. If you have not already, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up. It always helps me so out so much when you thumbs it up. And yeah, that is it. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.